hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel again uh, i hope everyone is doing well uh, today i am going to start sip the most awaited video uh, even for me a uh, lot of subscribers and some of my friends uh, were asking me to start videos on sip so here i am now uh, here i am and uh, from today we'll be learning and we'll be discussing uh, the SIP protocol. So we'll start with the basics. Uh, I will try to do short videos which will be very easy to understand topic by topic. So uh, and we, we will go till the debug level of SIP on how to understand and read the captured debugs from the voice gateways or cube. So We'll start with SIP today. Uh, before I begin the video, uh, I will request everyone, the new viewers, to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, uh, share it with your friends, and uh, let me know uh, in case you have any questions in the comment section. So uh, let's start with SIP. So SIP means that's session initiation protocol which literally uh, means a protocol which initiates or initiates a session so let me explain this term quickly so when we discuss sip it's session initiation protocol it's a protocol which initiates session now when I talk about session here session I'm talking about uh, communication session a communication session more precisely it's a IP communication session so when we are talking about a session here most precisely we are or I am referring to a IP communication session everything will be IP here all the data whatever SIP supports will be transported over IP protocol in form of packets so this is the literal or me basic meaning of a SIP protocol now the definition is it's a signaling protocol used for initiating maintaining and terminating real-time sessions that include your multimedia voice video data all the things so by heart or in core sip is a signaling protocol so it helps in establishing the signaling and media as well between two endpoints so this endpoints have some specific name in sip we will which we will see in the uh, coming slides so it's basically a signaling protocol like mgcp and h323 but the difference is MDCP is a client server protocol uh, this is a peer-to-peer -peer protocol it does not have any dependency on a call manager server or any server it can work or you know it's completely independent uh, it has its own mechanism of handling the signaling and media both now some key points that we should know before we start learning SIP debugging it. So these are the basics which sometimes are asked in interview as well. So SIP has been written or defined uh, about everything that you will like to read or learn about SIP will be uh, can be seen or find in RFC 3261. It's request for comment 3261 is RFC for SIP. SIP is a peer-to-peer -peer protocol. 
SIP is a text-based request and response protocol. It's like one endpoint sends a request, which will be a client, and the other endpoint, which will be a user agent server, will come to this term in the coming slides, will receive this request and will respond to it. So SIP basically is a combination. Most of the terms, most of the uh, error codes that you will see are from HTTP and SMTP. It's kind of a combination. It was created by combining this HTTP hypertext transfer protocol and SMTP simple means mail transfer protocol. So for an example, when you go to an internet and if your internet is not working or if your web page is not available, you most of the time see a 404 error, 404 not found, right? Same error we will see in SIP responses as well it comes under a 4xx response because and it's had have, have the same meaning which you see on the web page because it's a combination of http and smtp so sip works on port 5060 and 5061 it's both on tcp and udp port 5061 is for encrypted sip it's also called as a secure SIP or SIP over TLS, transport layer security. Now, when we talk about IP packets or IP communication, right? So, there are two types of IP packets in the normal communication, right? It's signaling and media, right? And SIP uses SDP. It's another protocol. A lot of engineers think that SDP is sip or it's uh, in an integrated for integral integral part of sip it's not sdp is completely uh, independent protocol sip utilizes sdp to carry its ma media parameters from endpoint to another there are a lot of other protocols which can use sdp right so it's completely a different protocol now let's see about some sip components it's very important Every endpoint in a SIP communication or a SIP network or a SIP protocol, whatever we can say, a network endpoint which sends or receive any SIP mass message or manages SIP session is called a user agent. Any endpoint, it can be an IP phone running on SIP, it can be a call manager server, it can be a voice gateway, a SIP voice gateway, or it can be a cube, it can be a jabber. So all these are called user agents, but now there are two types of user, user agents. It's user agent client and user agent server. So a user agent client is a endpoint that sends a SIP request. A user agent server is an endpoint or a server or a logical a network entity that receives a request, the SIP request and returns a SIP response. So this is very important like if you see this call flow where you have a ip phone registered on a call manager server so when this phone initiates a call it will send a sip request to the call manager server so in that case, this will be a user agent client and your call manager server will be a user agent server because the SIP request is being sent by this IP phone and call manager is receiving it. So this will be a user agent server and your IP phone or Jabber would be a user agent client. And broadly, these two are, are called user agents. And when you can categorize it, the sending part is the user agent client and receiving part is the user agent server. So this is the basic of SIP. There are some other points as well. I will try to explain those things in the next video, how a SIP communicates, how a communication starts, right? So till then, everyone take care. Uh, you can contact me if you need a specialized trainings on LinkedIn, on my email or phone number. And um, I will try to create more video videos more frequently. So uh, till then, everyone stay safe. Uh, take care. Bye-bye, uh, guys.